Hey, my name is Amanda Painter. I'm a physical therapist, fitness coach, and row instructor. Uh, and I'm just hopping on here to share a little bit about if you're having some discomfort uh, kind of on the side, either down here by the side of the foot, behind the heel, or up the side of that lower leg. Uh, there's a muscle there called your fronius or fibularis longus and brevis, uh, two muscles. Uh, and basically, they're really responsible for helping you with balancing type of things or when you're on your toes. Uh, so sometimes side jumps will get it. Um, rowing, um, if your feet are meant, if your feet are more designed to go out and you're forcing them in. Uh, extensive walking, things like that. Uh, so some tricks that you can do uh, that you can try. Uh, if that part is bothering you. So when it's down here, it's actually just a tendon. So usually the discomfort is there, but what I would recommend is actually coming up higher. So if you feel on the side below your knee, down here on the side, you're gonna feel a bone, like a little bony spot. It's kind of up high. Uh, that is the bone on this side. You don't want to go there. You want to go about an inch below that because there's a little nerve there and you don't want to get Bug it. Take a ball, this is a cross ball, you can do the tennis ball, you can even use just your fist uh, or your knuckles, and you're just going to kind of rub this like upper third-ish of the side of your calf. But again, don't go up near that bone because there's nerves there. You can also take the ball, put your leg on top of it, and do it that way. It's, it should feel kind of pretty uncomfortable. I don't want you so much that you're grimacing. Uh, you can overdo this, so try it for just about one to three minutes type of thing. Don't do it for 30 minutes, you're probably going to regret it. Uh, so try that out. The other thing you can do is usually sometimes people like across their legs or just being in this kind of position like this ends up feeling like it's being pulled a lot. So I want you to kind of go into that position, but like gently. Don't go to the extreme. Just a gentle pull. Uh, when you feel that gentle pull, hold that for 30 seconds to a minute. Do that every once in a while, two to three times a day. Uh, but don't over pull into it because it's going to end up just kind of rebelling on you. All the tissues are going to rebel and get angry. Um, sometimes this also happens because of things that are happening on the calf and the bottom of the foot. So another thing you can try is sitting down. You're going to take your toes and kind of curl them underneath. And then you're going to kind of sit back so that some weight goes towards those heels. If you just feel this in the joint and the toe, go ahead and stop. But if you happen to feel it either toes or bottom of the foot, then you're getting the right concept. I'd also recommend a calf stretch, uh, which you can do against the wall with your foot kind of up like this, like that. Uh, or you can do a kind of old school way where that leg is straight and you lean forward. Um, but that's, those are some options you can try if that side of the foot is bothering you. Uh, feel free to comment below if you've got questions, uh, but those are some tips and trips you might be able to track for this issue.